Ulnar neuritis Ulnar neuritis A condition where the ulnar nerve in the arm becomes compressed or irritated. The nerve can be compressed in several places such as the clavicle, collarbone, elbow, most common, or wrist. The ulnar nerve branches off the brachial plexus and travels down the back and inside of the arm to the hand. It runs through the cubital tunnel at the inside of the elbow and the ulnar tunnel, Guyon's canal, in the wrist. The ulnar nerve stimulates muscles in the forearm, hand, and fingers as a motor nerve. It gives feeling to the fifth finger, side of the fourth finger closest to the fifth finger, palm and back of the hand on the fifth side as a sensory nerve. Depending on the severity of the compression, muscle wasting can occur. Once the muscle is lost, it cannot be rebuilt. Symptoms, intermittent or constant numbness and tingling in the ring finger and little finger. Occurring most when the elbow bends. Muscle wasting if the ulnar nerve is compressed for a long time or is very compressed. Causes, the ulnar nerve can be irritated after constantly sliding back and forth from the medial epicondyle. Repetitive or prolonged activities that the elbow is bent or flexed. Damage or pressure on the inside of the elbow or elbow joint, such as edema, cysts, fracture or dislocation. Treatment, there are non-surgical and surgical treatment options. Non-surgical options are recommended first, as long as the ulnar neuritis has caused very little to no muscle wasting. If the Muscle wasting is severe or if non-surgical treatments have not helped, surgery may be necessary. Non-surgical treatment. Keeping the elbow straight. Limit activities that can cause the symptoms. Such as bending the elbow for extended periods of time and applying pressure to it. Wear a padded brace or splint at night to fix the elbow. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. NSAIDs, e.g. ibuprofen, naproxen sodium. They help reduce edema around it. Nerve glide. An exercise that stretches nerves. It helps the ulnar nerve slide through the cubital tunnel at the elbow and the Guyon's canal at the wrist which can improve symptoms and also help prevent stiffness in the arm and wrist. Surgical treatment, cubital tunnel release, the ligament, roof, of the cubital tunnel is cut and divided, increasing the size of the tunnel while decreasing pressure on the nerve. As the ligament heals, new tissue grows across the division, expanding the sides of the tunnel. This procedure works best when the nerve does not slide out from behind the bony ridge of the medial epicondyle when the elbow is bent. Ulnar nerve anterior transportation corrects the nerve's location if it has slid out from behind the bony ridge of the medial epicondyle. The types include depending on the place to be moved, subcutaneous transposition, submuscular transportation, and intermuscular transportation. Medial epicondylectomy. Part of the medial epicondyle is removed, releasing the nerve. It prevents the nerve from getting caught on the bony ridge of the medial epicondyle and stretching when the elbow is bent. 